hello friends so today i'm going to be showing y'all all of the sustainable swaps that i made in 2020 these are not all going to be zero waste they're just going to be parts of my life that i've switched over to being a little more sustainable i don't have everything here because i have some of my stuff at college that i don't use at home i won't have certain things to show you i feel like 2020 was a year that i really tried to be more sustainable this is also showing that these are the things that i've swapped in 2020 and i also know that i want to swap a lot more things in 2021 maybe i can do this video next year and have a lot more things that i have swapped especially since i'll have my own living space this is kind of weird because i haven't done like a sit down video on my bed in so long but we are here <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and get started i posted a video right before i went to college and it was a zero waste haul a lot of those things in that video that i did i'm going to be mentioning in this video and also a lot of those things in that video i have at college that i've used throughout my first semester but i didn't bring them home because i don't use them here. That's one thing that I also would like to do is to convert my family in this household to more sustainable living with laundry and dish soap, all-purpose cleaner, dryer balls. Those are about all the things that I have at college that I use there and are sustainable with there, but then at my house it's not really sustainable. I'll go ahead and get out of the way the few things that I don't actually have here with me just so that I don't forget. So all the things that I just said. And then also I do not know where my last swab is. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's just like a reusable cotton swab basically but it's obviously not cotton it's made out of i think like silicone or rubber but i really like it i don't know if i just didn't bring it home or if it's like in a box somewhere but i have been thoroughly missing it i used to clean out my ears with cotton buds every day and now i've kind of like switched from not even doing that anyway i do it just every few days and i use my last swab it's like a lot more grippy than a cotton swab too so it really is really gets in there <laughs> and then another thing i wanted to mention is that this year in probably like april i talked about like how i was not going to be purchasing from any fast fashion brands anymore so one of my sustainable swaps from 2020 would be thrifting like i only thrift clothes i haven't bought from any sustainable brands i don't feel like i'll do that this year either I don't know, I just really love thrifting. Both of these tops are thrifted. Every time I wear something that's thrifted, which is most of the time now because I've just gained a collection, I just always have a better day when I'm wearing my thrifted clothes. So those are a few things that I couldn't show you. I'll also mention this since I was looking on my phone. I don't want to forget it. This is kind of cheating just because I just got this for Christmas, but I was wanting to swap over my phone case for a while. So this is a Pila case. It's made out of flax, which is fully compostable. The phone grippy is also from there. I just love my new case and my phone grippy. My pop socket like popped off probably a year ago. So I've been having just like my normal OtterBox case without that, which I love having something to hold on my phone. And then my OtterBox had just like so many cracks in it. I didn't want to get a new OtterBox case because they have warranty on OtterBox, but I knew that I wanted to get an actual phone case if I was going to get it. And I've had this phone for two and a half years and I had had that case for two and a half years and then I just got my battery replaced and so I was like okay that means I'm gonna have this phone for like a while so I think I'm gonna get a Pila case and I love it and it's a conversation starter if someone's like oh my gosh I love your case or your phone grippy or whatever and I'd be like it's compostable you should check it out things that go with you every day just like thrifting like oh where'd you get that top it's so cute and I'm like thrift store things like that that can easily be a conversation starter maybe spark someone to like switch over that in their life I guess I'll keep going with like the lifestyle things. One of my favorite things that I've gotten this year, it's a Fjall Raven Mini. It's called the Recake. I don't know if I'm saying that right, by the way. It's whenever all the thread is the same color. The normal ones have like the patch here, but this is just like a black thread like into it. The thing with the Recankins is that they're made from recycled plastic bottles and I don't know if all of the other ones are or if it's just these so I really love that and I was carrying around a purse that had like broken zippers that I had had for like seven years and I just wanted something that could hold my water bottle and my utensils and then like my wallet and just other things that I need for living the zero waste lifestyle if I'm going out to eat and I'm bringing my tiffin with me this can hold all those things and it's pretty small but it fits what i need i love this and i feel like it's gonna last me for forever to go along with that is this utensil pouch which once again i mentioned in that zero waste haul i have my thrifted utensils in here but i'm missing the knife because i actually went to oregon and i just had this in my backpack and i didn't even think of that i had a knife in here <laughs> so it got pulled in the security and i was like oh my gosh i'm so good not me to have a knife it's really just my sustainable utensils i tried my best to always have these with me so then i can just refuse utensils in my cafeteria at school that i'm like required to have a meal plan with they have plastic utensils and i never use one because i always have these with me and i just wash them so 
yeah, that's an easy swap. We love that. Going along with like food, travel, things, it's like kind of foggy because I've had it in the refrigerator. I have this metal tiffin, which I also mentioned in that video. It just has this like top thing. It has this huge thing, which I have my homemade falafels in, which are really good. Whenever I go out to eat and I know that I'm most likely gonna have leftovers, which is basically every time I go out to eat because I never finish what I eat, I always bring this. And if I don't, then it's not a big deal. You just get a to-go box, but every little thing counts. And I've been really trying to remember this and it fits in here i love this this was not like a sustainable swap of 2020 i did just want to mention because i feel like it's kind of weird if i don't mention a water bottle in a sustainability video i've had this water bottle for like a year and a half and once again this fits in this bag perfectly i just take this everywhere with me and i don't ever need plastic bottles because i always have that filled up and it's just by simple modern but honestly it'll just get you a water bottle that you love and just reuse it and do not use plastic water bottles i feel like i got these probably not last year probably the year before but i really started anchoring down on using only reusable bags and refusing plastic bags if i forgot these then i would just like use my cart not use bags because it's so unnecessary and also these just like hold so much more than a plastic bag would i bring like two of these for like a full-on grocery shop it just all fits these aren't anything fancy please use your reusable bags and if places aren't allowing you to because in the beginning of covid i thought that they weren't so i wasn't and so i was just using plastic bags and then i was like whatever and so i would just to self check out with everything if you do self check out then they can't tell you, you can't use it because you're touching the stuff anyway now we're going into more like beauty skincare stuff i just have a contacts case here and i know this is plastic but this year i switched from daily contacts to monthlies that is like a huge thing because i've used dailies since i'm ashamed to say it but since fifth grade that's like one pair of silicone or plastic or something that's going in your eye or just getting thrown away and multiply that by like five years this year i switched to monthlies which are not only cheaper but they're better for the environment it's not just the contact itself it's like the case it comes in like you're throwing it away every single day which the plastic part was recyclable but recycling isn't like the answer to everything now i just have one pair a month that gets thrown away which is so much better than 30 pairs a month that is a very exciting thing probably the first swap that i made was bars this is not glamorous once again i know this is plastic but this is just a container we had lying around the house whenever i switched over to all this i still have yet to get one of those like fancy the ones with the open bottom so that they can properly drain i've had these since the end of march i did a video i'll link it in the cards i'll find it and this conditioner bar is going strong it like barely is any size difference compared to like the shampoo i'm down to like a little half that's like really skinny and then like this bar of soap that it was a giant bar and i cut it in half and this has lasted me like three or four months and i still have a whole half left this has honestly been one of my favorite swaps there's so many pros to this one it lasts so much longer than like the bottle version two it's so much less clutter whenever i travel i literally just take this i barely have any liquids to travel with anymore normally i'd be so worried about having too many liquids like it not fitting all this stuff now it's just like all in this and there's no liquid and you don't have to worry about the ounces it's so much easier because i live in a community dorm right now whenever i take stuff to the bathroom it's not like i'm lugging three or four bottles of stuff to the bathroom i just take this and that's literally all i need the shampoo and conditioner bar is from ethique the soap is from love beauty and planet you can just get whatever soap i completely recommend that like i was so skeptical in the beginning ethique is really good and they just have so many different shampoo and conditioners for so many different hair types and they also have like little minis so you can try out the minis before so i just really like that brand and so i'll leave them linked down below i really encourage that because the thing with solid products is yes they're a little more expensive but they last longer whenever they're getting shipped it's so much less of like a carbon footprint because they're not shipping a 90% water product. It's literally just the actual product and then you add the water yourself, which you do anyway with the liquid products. So that's my spiel on solid products. Love those so much. Solid products for the win, for sure. Let's move into like chapstick. I used to obsess over Aquaphor, but this year I switched over to sustainably packaged lip things. I still use the products that I haven't used up, but these are the only things I've purchased since. I have this Lush Honey Trap lip balm. It's like an aluminum tin and aluminum is the most recyclable material. And I really like it. I'm literally almost done. There's barely any stuff on the edges. I'm either gonna repurchase this or try another Lush lip balm. It's a good thicker lip balm and then this is just like my everyday chapstick that i always have in the front of this bag which is also a conversation starter because when i pull this out and put it on 
people are like, oh my gosh, that's a huge chopstick. And I'm like, yeah, but it's in cardboard packaging. If you can see how far it is on my finger, that's how much I've used up. So I probably only have like this much left. I don't know how long I've had this, honestly, but I really love it. It's really moisturizing, has good ingredients, good packaging. We love that. Also from the zero waste haul that I was talking about, I have this old Lush container that I refilled with face slash body moisturizer, which I've been using as like my face moisturizer. I also have like another Lush charity pot, big moisturizer. But once I get through that charity pot, I'm gonna fill it with this because I can use this on my face and my body and it's really moisturizing. And then also the oil that I use with this every single day. Whenever I go through my hair oil that I still have, I will use this because like when I travel, I just use this like on my face and my hair. So yeah. And then going along with beauty, I've been using this native cucumber and mint plastic free deodorant. This is just a new stick that I got for Christmas. I think I've been using the same stick either September or October. It was like right whenever it started getting cooler, I started using this. So I really hope that I can continue using this through the summer. I think I will be able to just because I'm used to it. It's basically my trap stick but in giant version. The cucumber and mint scent is so good. So much better than the coconut and vanilla. That's the one I used to use whenever I first started using this. It's just like so refreshing and it smells like the Dove deodorant that I used to use. I love this stuff. This is like an example of like how companies will listen because there were people that like kept asking Native to release like a zero waste one. So they listened and other brands shall do it too. And moving on to like dental hygiene. I also swapped to David's toothpaste and I think it was like August or something. It is in a metal tube so it's recyclable. I will not repurchase this anymore after I go through this just because I found something else that I'm going to mention and I know it sounds horrible but this is like so much work to recycle. I still haven't even cleaned out my other one. It's just sitting in my cabinet waiting for me to have a day where I can just clean it out. This is a really good toothpaste though. I love it. It's like a normal toothpaste. I don't think that there's fluoride in this though. I've had like the pepper and the spearmint. It just has a little more of like a pasty feel compared to normal toothpaste. I will for sure finish this and whenever I have a day I will clean them both out and recycle them but after I go through this I'm solely going to be purchasing these bite toothpaste tabs. I asked for these for Christmas it's just like the month trial version but I've used them twice and I really like them. I literally just chew on it like a mint and then scrub your teeth and it's like super super foamy. This actually has a fluoride alternative so at least there's some bit of something in there. Once I go through this I'll continue like repurchasing this. Also, I'm probably going to use these interchangeably for the next few months until that toothpaste runs out. After I go through this travel version, then I'll purchase the big jar that comes with like 240 I think. It's like a four month subscription and then they send you the compostable recyclable packets to refill it with so you don't have to like keep buying a glass jar. Then also going along with that I stopped using placards this year. I used to use placards every day and I would reuse them. I would basically use them for like a week probably but placards are not sustainable so then I switched over to all the floss that I had gotten from like the dentist. Finally went through all that and then I purchased this dental floss from the Humble Co. It's fresh mint flavored and it comes a cardboard box. The packaging is recyclable and yes I do throw away the dental floss is not compostable but for now since I don't really have somewhere I could just like compost I'm fine with this. I reuse my floss anyway a few nights in a row at least. It's just a more sustainable way of getting floss. So we love that. Both of these I got from Earth Hero and then this is like a very very honorable mention. It's basically cheating because I got this once again on Christmas and I've only used it once. Technically it is a 2020 swap because I got it in 2020. 20. I got a leaf razor. Oh my golly, it's so nice. This is like the nicest thing I've ever owned, I feel like. I only put two blades in it and the only thing I've used it to do was to shave my armpits, but it worked really well. I plan on continuing to use this in 2021 and like forever. I'm very excited to like stop purchasing razors and to just use that. I don't know what I'm going to do about whenever I travel, whenever I fly, because I know I can't take that on the plane because they'll snatch that up. And then I won't get it back. And then that's like an expansive rain so that they just snatch. Yeah. That's all the things that I've swapped in 2020. There are some things like reusable silicone bags, beeswax wraps, things like that, that I've swapped before 2020. So I didn't really mention those here because those aren't things that I'm using like constantly, constantly. These are things that I use every day. I love and recommend. And I would encourage you to also make these swaps gradually. Like you don't have to make all these swaps at once. I did it over the course of a year and I'm continuing to like swap over some things. I'm really happy with where I've come for this year with my sustainability journey. I'm really excited to continue doing that. Hopefully making a little bit of impact on others and then making a little bit of a little bit of a difference to the earth and the world. Also one thing I need to improve on this year is that literally just 
never use a straw. I kind of got careless with that this year. It's all in moderation. If you saw my roommate tag with Sarah, we both had plastic cups and plastic straws. I was supporting like a local business. They can't refill cups. That's something also that I really want to do this year. I started doing this within COVID so I couldn't start using a reusable mug because no one was taking them. Once things start opening back up to that, I really want to start doing that as well. So yeah, I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and took a little bit of inspiration from it. So maybe next time you run out of something, you will purchase something a little more sustainable. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!